Now, ladies and gentlemen, can I uh, now ask for your complete silence and attention as I invite a very important person to take the stage to give an official welcome to our fundraising event tonight. Please put your hands together for DAPA's president, Mr. Vincent Yu. I pay my respect to the elders past, present and emerging, especially to the people with disabilities, their carers and all their friends, now, Australia is a lucky country with good and very good people. And people will love to help each other out. And I, I love this country so much since I got here in 1967. Since uh, the formation of DAPA, we come a long way. And especially, we got NDIS to uh, really help every one of us to make effort to help ourselves. Vincent, you had the wisdom to start this organization, this charitable non-profit organization to serve local communities, Chinese, Indian, and multicultural communities, and the community at large. The best name you find out is different ability. So we have all disability. Even we call ourselves able people who have disability. Um, to be here for DARPA's uh, 10th anniversary is something really special. Um, uh, when Vincent chose to start this organisation, uh, he really did so um, from experience, but also wanting to make people's lives better. And that's what um, uh, has given Vincent such a drive and focus over the last 10 years. Uh, to work uh, with his family and to work with our local community to help them get through life. As many of you would know, disability is such an intersectional issue. Those with disability often experience issues with mental health as well. Often there's experiences with cultural and linguistic diverse challenges, language, culture. This is something that I think DARPA really get because they bring together the fundamental care and support you need as a person living with disability with that cultural awareness, language. I think that's really important and something that we should recognise, celebrate and see more of. in ensuring each person is valued as a unique individual with very and differences in their interests and abilities. Turning that differences into positive outcomes is what matters to everyone involved in DAPA. This is the DAPA way by working together with families and volunteers in assisting the individuals to become a differently able person day by day. As a parent and recent lawyer with the Disability Royal Commission, I understand too well the challenges faced by people with intellectual disabilities, finding inclusive pathways to work and thrive. DARPA has played an important role in helping realise these goals for my son and many others over the years. DARPA's inclusive governance through collaborating with participants, their families and staff is what helps empower people with intellectual disabilities to develop confidence and skills through creativity and innovation. We, we started five years ago with Daniel. Um, Daniel uh, struggled to fit in anywhere uh, because he's, he's a very bright boy but he has a few little things and Vincent understands those things. And one thing DAPA has provided uh, for Daniel is that no one else could. Uh, Vincent and Jennifer are like parents for him. And so in conclusion, I'd just like to say from the Differently Able People Association, thank you all very much for being here in support, for coming tonight, and let's give for another 10 years.